here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I heard there's a Saudi pay-per-view today. Is that true? Is WWE in Saudi Arabia, Mike? Is that what's going on? Oh, now Mike has vanished. He's dropped off the face of the earth. And his hat fell off. Can we get that up there, Jared? What's going on with this guy? Holy smokes. What's next? We literally just had him. Well, we'll uh, we'll get Mike back on here at some point. But what is important right now, everybody, as I'm sure you're all well aware, is this Saudi pay-per-view. We got to talk about it. Breaking news. WWE ran a show in Saudi Arabia. Hey, I got the results for you so far. I haven't seen a moment of the show. But I had a couple things that I was talking about yesterday. And uh, let's talk about them here. Here's the results. If you don't want them, turn the show off because uh, the show is live. It's live and ongoing right now. I can't imagine you would be listening to this show live, uh, but you don't want the live results of the pay-per-views going on live head-to-head with the show. We have got Edge beating Seth Rollins in a Hell in a Cell match. They went 27 minutes. Uh, My recommendation, far be it from me to give recommendations to Edge and Seth Rollins, but I said if you go 18 minutes, it's probably going to be a great match, and if you go like 35 minutes, it's not going to be a great match. I have not seen the match, but I have been told that 27 minutes, it was a great match. There were folks on Twitter throwing out them five stars, otherwise other people saying, well, it wasn't quite that good, but it was a very good match. It was the opener, the Hell in a Cell match, so I heard it was very, very good. In his hometown, Mansoor beat Mustafa Ali. They got 10 minutes Hometown boy won. Very happy to see that. RKO beat AJ Styles and Omos to retain the tag team titles. Zelina Vega and Dewdrop was the finals of the Queen's Crown Tournament. Now, before I give you the, before I tell you who won, I would like to know that in the in the past week or so, we've been. Uh, when talking about this tournament, this this women's queen's crown, and how, quite frankly, it's completely disrespectful to the women because the men have got a tournament going on at the same time, and the men are allowed to wrestle 10 to 12-minute matches every single time out, and the women, at best, at best, were given three minutes. The women's tournament matches ranged from one minute to three minutes, And it's like, well, why even bother? Like, if I were a woman, I mean, I would be more angry that you gave us a tournament, but we weren't allowed to actually wrestle than if we didn't get a tournament at all. Well, at the end of the day, the winner of the tournament was the woman who went one year without winning a single solitary match on WWE television, Zelina Vega. She went from losing every single match for a full year to winning all of the matches and becoming the Queen's Crown winner. On top of that, the match went 5 minutes and 55 seconds, which is notable for two reasons. Number one, in fact, the entire Queen's Crown tournament, every single solitary match put together, did not last 20 minutes. If you put together every single match in the Queen's Crown Tournament, it did not exceed 20 minutes. I don't have the exact time in front of me, but it was about 18 minutes for every single match in the Queen's Crown Tournament. Equality here in WWE. And as somebody noted, the irony that of all of the matches in the Queen's Crown Tournament, the longest women's match took place in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What an irony. Goldberg defeated, but did not kill Bobby Lashley. They won 11 minutes and 25 seconds. It was a no-holds-barred, falls-count-anywhere match. I'll get to that in a moment. Xavier Woods and Finn Balor was the final of the uh, King of the Ring tournament. And uh, we have mentioned for days now that Xavier Woods, I'm not even making this up, for seven years, 
Xavier Woods has been talking about wanting to win the King of the Ring tournament. And as I talked about a couple of days ago, one of the biggest problems with WWE, and there are a lot of problems, one of the biggest problems is I never have any faith that they are going to do something nice for anybody. My presumption was that Xavier Woods, after seven years, was going to finally go to the finals of the King of the Ring tournament, and he would be defeated by Finn Balor. I noted that if it were my company, Xavier Woods would win, but I had no faith. And the problem is, your viewers should not be going into shows having no faith that you're going to do the right thing. I had no faith, but you know what? They did the right thing, and Xavier Woods won the match, and he is the new king of the ring. I am personally overjoyed that his dream came through after seven years. Hopefully all the fans are as well. But this company needs to get, they need to start to book in a way where you do not go into a show presuming the worst and being delighted when every now and then you get something nice happening. Yo, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. No Mike Sempervivi. We're right in the middle of the Roman Reigns-Brock Lesnar match. And uh, apparently there was a very lame ending. But anyway, uh, Paul Heyman had to make a decision, and he threw the belt, and it landed right between the two guys. He couldn't decide who to help. Anyway, we'll talk more about this uh, later on. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.